Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the wonderful organization called BLM, Black Lives Matter. Hmm, you guys collected what, over 100 million, 110 million in 2020? And latest information, 88% of the donations aren't coming in. I'm just still wondering why the 12% are still donating to these clowns. Yes, clowns. So if you donated and you fell for their scam and you fell for white guilt, corporate guilt, <clears throat> you got suckered. You got pie in your face. I knew it all along. They ain't do nothing. They bought mansions for themselves. They bought luxurious cars and jewelry. Oh, and they paid one of their brothers over 800000 for security services. Wow. Well, another friend, uh, consultant fees or creative fees. Hmm, over a million dollars. So, again, they didn't help nobody out in the inner cities. I'm going to hear a lot of crickets after this video's been seen because nobody's going to come forward and admit that they donated or that they knew nothing was going to happen, like me. They just suckered people in, in the moment. My eyes watched on the sidelines. <laughs> oh, what a great, great movement this is happening. They're in the red. More likely, they're going to go down, 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 file bankruptcy. They're going to end up selling their mansions because they won't be able to pay the property taxes on it. Hmm. hmm. They'll still have money for a while to live off of, but nobody's going to give them a job or trust them. I wouldn't. Oh, well, at least they had a little bit of success, a little fun in the sun. And uh, we'll see what happens to these individuals. Probably nothing. They won't get investigated. They're not Donald Trump. They won't investigate nobody unless you're Donald Trump. <laughs> and that's the one-way system that is not a two-way street, as we're all seeing. All right, people. Enjoy. Do some thinking.